So the other day I was contacted by a client and he just wanted to delete his Google business profile. He said he just wanted to start again, but I advised him not to do that because most owners don't realize that deleting your Google business profile isn't what it seems. When I've done other videos, look at these comments that have come back. Up until now, most business owners think that when they delete their Google business profile, that they've deleted it forever, but that is not the case. So in this video, I'm going to guide you through the process to delete your Google business profile as it's just been updated. I'll also introduce you to a new tool that will absolutely eradicate your profile in Google's database. I'll also explain how you can control what is deleted to avoid losing access to other Google products and tools. But you may be asking, why would I want to delete my Google business profile in the first place? But you know, I've seen so many businesses, good businesses get bad reviews, get fake reviews, get all sorts of problems. And in the end, it just becomes just too much for them. They just think about wanting to start again. And additionally, sometimes businesses get suspended for absolutely no reason at all. And then it becomes a real bind trying to get it re-established with Google. Sometimes the business has the wrong maps, the wrong location, the photographs you want don't seem to be being shown. And no matter how often you try and contact Google, they just don't seem to sort it out for you. And there may be even other things as well, which I haven't mentioned. So if there are anything like that that you've gone through, then put them in the comments below and I'll see if I can help you. So you've had a look around and you've been told it's easy to delete your Google business profile and it can appear that way on the surface. So how easy is it to delete it? Well, I can remember at school being taught that a question is only difficult if you don't know the answer to it. And I think most people think they know the answer to that question, but they don't. So before you're deleting it, there are actually three questions that you need answers to. Number one, is it really warranted to delete your profile? So deleting a Google business profile isn't like just removing a social media account. It's not like just saying that's the end of Facebook or Twitter. It has a lot more depth in the database and within the algorithm of Google. And also it just doesn't disappear overnight. And the reason for this is that Google values trustworthiness. And so it doesn't just get rid of something because one person says that that business is no longer there. And you'll know the importance of trustworthiness because if you've ever tried to get a business established in the first place, you'll know the verification, maybe you're using video, it used to be a postcard. There's a lot of effort to verify someone in the first place. So deleting and remaking a listing when it isn't warranted is a flag of suspicious activity to Google. And so there are only a few instances where it's really appropriate to delete a listing. So that moves us on to the second question. Is it you need to delete it or is it you're just wanting to close the business? So if you want to just close the business, there's an easy route to do this. You just go to this page here. I'll put a link down below, which you can follow. And there on support, it just runs you through what's needed. So before you permanently delete something, you need to just make sure that you're not wanting to just close the business in the first place. So before we come on to the one that will totally eradicate your business out of Google's database, let's just first of all delete it the standard way. So you just go to your business profile and you need to log in with your right account, the management account. Then you select the three dots where it's more. You then go to business profile settings. And then you then select remove business profile, remove profile content and managers. And you just need to just go through this process. Just make sure you know what you're doing. You select continue, then remove, and then done. And that is it. And that is how we used to think you could delete your business profile. But there's one more thing you need to know. And that's down to this third question. Do you want it temporarily deleted or do you want it permanently deleted? Now, if it's permanent, then we'll come on to that in a second. But first of all, what actually gets removed when you delete it the way we've just done? Well, you're just really giving up ownership to your business. It will still appear on Google search until the algorithm recognizes it and no longer exists. And that's why it can take six months, it could take a year, it could take just a few weeks. It really depends on what people are reporting. If people report that it's disappeared, that it's closed down, well then it will disappear eventually. But you don't control that. And that's where the problem's been. That's why those comments were made on the previous videos was because you were still waiting for Google to eradicate it out of their database. So this is where that new powerful tool comes in. I'll put a link to it down below, but what I will say is if you use this, 
uh, and you eradicate data that is absolutely down to your responsibility to choose what you actually eradicate because it will delete the information forever. So here's the tool that you can use. And as you can see here, you can go to maps and then you can choose exactly which bit is deleted, which section, and you just follow this through. And what you're doing is you're now requesting for Google to totally eradicate all that data. And this has been proven to work. Uh, but again, you may have a reason for it. You may feel it's down to perhaps some fake reviews, some information that you want totally removed. And of course you have the rights to do that. But will it delete everything on your Google account? Well, no, it'll only be the things that you choose here. So you do have a selection process, but just make sure that you double check what you're doing before you click yes. So you can then choose how much data is deleted. But the chances are the reason you're deleting your business is because something went wrong. Now, if you want to know all the mistakes you need to avoid, then watch this video next and I'll show you exactly what mistakes most people make on a Google business profile. I'll see you on that video.